But these boys ain't playing. These boys are not playing. This is getting serious now, man. Kanye fans just leaked Big Sean's entire album, bro. Bro, this beef is serious. Hey, let's get into it. Hey, y'all go check it out. Big Sean, he just released a On The Radar Freestyle. I reacted to it, but he ended up dissing Kanye on it. I, I, he had like two, three bars about Kanye. A lot of people was trying to speculate, oh, it's Kendrick. Academics were trying to instigate that war. But in reality, they ended up calling Sean, ended up tweeting out saying that Big Sean was talking to a different Gemini. And you already know who's the other hip hop Gemini besides like Tupac, Kanye. And y'all know about their beef, y'all know about their struggles. Kanye in his Drink Champs interview saying Big Sean was his biggest mistake. Big Sean said uh, Kanye owed him millions, you feel me? So you, you already know they 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 already beefing, you feel me? Just on their business behind the scenes level. So now it's getting serious for real. Like you leaked this entire man's album. I don't think Kanye did it necessarily, but his fans. How did they even get a hold of it? That's crazy. And look at Big Sean's response. Cause at first I thought I was like, oh, it's fake. But no, it's real life. It's like, dang. So he responded, might as well start dropping before they leak it all. God damn. Laughing emoji. Big Sean, the alchemist is coming soon. Hey man, shout out to the alchemist, dog. You feel me? He been having to run, man. The alchemist been having to run. It's crazy, bro. Like, how do they... There has to be somebody that they know. You feel me? That's the reason why he's trying to laugh about it. You got to laugh it off. Because, you know, Big Sean, he's a big mental health dude. Him and Janae Aiko. Y'all know his struggles. Um, so, man, I'm excited for that album. But at the same time, it's like, bro, dang, that's crazy. Yeah, this could be a crazy year for 2024 in hip hop. I wonder what's going to happen, dog. Because I'm going to listen to the album. Absolutely. Hopefully, he can still use it as marketing. Try to finesse it into his marketing plan. But I'd probably hurry up and do some type of... We do with some like he said just try to improv with the release because oh man to be an artist to have your music leaked press is something he's been working on for years like big shine been working on this album for a minute we've been waiting for this you feel me well i would say i would say we pop fans but me you feel me and if you're a fan of big shine you understand he used to be in that big four it was kendrick j cole drake big shine but of course his mental health issues kind of put him in a back burner and then his last few albums didn't really live up to the hype. But you feel me? Big Sean, he's always been that guy. He, we know for a fact he can't deliver. And people were really waiting on his album, I feel like. They were really waiting on him to say, hey, have some type of comeback. Especially in 2024 when this is the time for that. These fans are weird, man. These fans are weird. And then we got Rory commenting, if that Big Sean leak is real, let's make sure we run up the streams when it actually drops. That's crazy, man. I ain't even listen to it. And I'm not going to listen to it. You feel me? But that's crazy, like, to imagine putting your hard work into a craft, especially something like art. You feel me? Not only to make the art, but you have to go and experience the art to create the art. You can't just go to the studio like it's the gym and just put up a bunch of shots. You feel me? Or go to, a, uh, like, a boxing ring and just throw up a bunch of jabs a thousand times like Bruce Lee. You literally have to go and experience these things. You have to go and rest in order to actually work. You can't just go to the studio and make a bunch of songs. Song. You're going to tire yourself out. Dang, bro. This, I, as an artist, man, I feel for, for Big Sean, man. It's crazy, bro. Oh, man. And the producers, everybody else that worked on the album. Oh, man. Since he went to disrespect Ye so much, here's the album. Fuck him and his whole team. <laughs> Precision is on the album, just not in these files. This was the album as a couple months ago. Features Nas, Dream, Janae, and some other people. Alt album title, Better Me Than You. Ye doesn't know you. Plot twist, Ye told me to leak it. Uh, I knew Ye was on some shit. Of course, who else? Like, somebody has to have been close. You feel me? You can't just be a random stranger to leak somebody's album, a multi-platinum artist album. You don't have that type of access. You have to be somebody personal. It has to be somebody close by you. That's the reason why Big Sean, he was probably laughing at it because he probably like, I know. You, you, you have to know. You feel me? Because you don't just let anybody have your album. Like, Ye told me to leak it. How did Ye get it? How did they get that shit? Playing both sides, man. Like, bro, if you're an artist, you're a musician, you're an entrepreneur, the hardest thing about becoming successful is not necessarily becoming great at your job. It's the politics, man. It's everything behind the scenes. Like, Longevity in your career is not based off 
your actual talent or your skill set is based off how much bullshit you can deal with. You have to deal with this type of shit, man. You have to deal with these crazy motherfuckers, bro. You feel me? You could be like SpongeBob. The episode of SpongeBob when he getting bullied by Flats. Well, Flats just said, "Well, I'm gonna beat you up." The fun SpongeBob, you feel me? Get scared. It's like, bro, SpongeBob is just living his life, doing his thing, just chilling, making Krabby Patties, going to a fucking boating school, living his life. Here comes a bitch ass nigga trying to ruin your life for no fucking reason. And you genuinely have to deal with these people on a consistent basis just because they don't like your frequency. Just because they don't understand your peace. They don't like your peace. Like, I don't want to go out of my way and say that Ye is a narcissist because I don't want to diagnose him as that. But I truly believe he is. I think he has obvious signs of being a psychopath. Psychopaths are born. Sociopaths are made. So I believe that Jay, he's, he's an actual fucking sociopath. Just the way he thinks, just the way he moves. This I'm a God type mentality. Like if you're a Yay fan, you know he's been on this for years, man. So he truly believes that. That's the reason why he vibes so much with Donald Trump. And I'm not saying this because I hate these people. I'm saying this if you understand spirituality, the subconscious does not know the difference between real and fake. Neville Goodard, Bob Proctors, Nev uh, Nikola Tesla, Earl Nightingales. We all read the same books, bro. Like they truly don't believe that we can read the same books they can read. That's the reason why they have that phrase, if you want to hide something, put it in the book. The, the, you feel me? If there's no such thing as the Illuminati, all that shit, it's a conspiracy theory. Even the name conspiracy theory is a conspiracy theory to have you focus on the Illuminati and the demons and all that shit. No, it's extremely simple. The subconscious, the frequency, in order to attract their reality, you have to think their thoughts. You have to think those thoughts. You have to think those evil demonic thoughts. Bro, nah, you can easily tell somebody's reality just based off the way they think, based off their body language. The same way we can look at dogs and tell when they're happy, and we can tell when they're sad, we can tell when they're about to attack. When they're wagging their tails, they're happy. When their tails are sticking straight up, they're about to attack. Bro, they think we're stupid, bro. That's the reason why the devil was the angel of music. Music is energy in its purest form. Like I said, the subconscious doesn't know the difference. Ye is an evil motherfucker. I'm a huge fan of Kanye. I'm a huge fan of his music. I enjoy the frequency. I understand it. I empathize it, but I don't like it. I completely disagree with him. I, I don't like that shit at all. At this point, I listen to music like I'm a therapist. Like I'm mindful. I'm just listening, listening to the artists and their mentality. I'm listening to their reality. You feel me? No more, no less. I'm not attaching to, on to any of their trauma. That's their demons. That's their shadow work. They, you feel me? They refuse to overcompensate. I mean, they refuse to actually acknowledge their childhood trauma. So now they have to go and overcompensate online and with the lyrics. I see right through it at this point. You feel me? So I just suggest my audience, if you're watching, do the exact same. That's the reason why we're having these conversations, man. We're in the middle of a loneliness epidemic. So go ahead and subscribe down below and see you in the next video, man.